Well, he did it again. They won't even get close enough to lay a rope on him. The boss ought to know better than to waste time trying to catch him. Uh, let him go, Pete. What do you mean, let him go? You've been chasing him for three years. Yeah, we'll get him. Come on, let's get back to the ranch. across the center of the corral. Put the horses on the other side. What for? And I got a hunch that black stallion's gonna start missing his herd. I want to give him every chance to get back with him. Stop now. A few steps farther. You're full of fire and fury. What are you gonna name it? I think you just saved me the trouble. Fury. Hey, that's pretty good. It's a fighter, isn't he? I'll soon bust that out of him. You ain't gonna let him pick a club. I'm betting on the stallion. Have your laugh. But he's no ordinary Mustang. I agree with you, Bart. I'll right, leave him alone for a few days, give him a chance to cool off. I'll have a go at him when I get back from town. You better mind the boss, Bart. Treat that black horse kind and gentle like. <laughs> What we need around here is a wife. Oh, now, don't start that again. Ah, of all the stubborn jugheads. A man needs a wife around to do for him, Jim. This place ain't never been the same since. Look, I had the only wife I ever wanted. Now, when are you gonna get that through your jughead? Just because the good Lord saw fit to take her away. The good Lord had nothing to do with it. He's a crazy drunk. If he hadn't been doing 90 miles an hour, Donald and Billy would still be here. Devil still acting up. Don't like being fenced in. Who does? Jim! 
just have to take No, you don't, George! Guys, and you tried to push me around. Look up. Oh, no, you don't. That's the third window you've broken this month. I didn't break your old window. Sure, I know it broke itself. Well, you can tell your story to Judge Blake down at Juvenile Hall. Go ahead, take me in. See if I can. I've had a lot of patience with you, Joey, but there is a limit. The last time you were here, I warned you that if you didn't cooperate, I'd have to send you someplace where they'd see to it that you did. Since you have no one who's legally responsible for you, I'm sending you to the Whitfield home for delinquent boys. Mind if I butt in, Judge? Why, Jim. Jim Newton. Hello, Judge. How are you? Fine, fine. What brings you here? This boy in a broken window. Did you see him do it? No, he didn't break it. He was telling you the truth. It was another boy. Well, now, why didn't you tell me that, Joey? I think maybe you thought he was doing the right thing by keeping his mouth shut. Is that the way it is, Joey? I ain't gonna snitch on nobody. Joey, it is not snitching when you're telling the truth. Mind if I talk to him, Judge? No. No, go right ahead. I, uh, saw that scrap of yours. You throw pretty good right. Who are you, a cop or something? <laughs> no, no, I'm just a guy who likes a good fight when it's something worth fighting for. What was that one about? Just another big mug trying to push me around. They're always trying it. Well, maybe you bring it on yourself. It ain't my fault I'm an orphan. Who takes care of you? Nobody. I do all right for myself. Well, it doesn't look much like it with the judge about to send you to reform school. What's your angle, mister? You another one of those welfare guys, like the one that put me in the orphanage? You haven't got much faith in human beings, have you, Joey? Well, I can't say that I blame you. How would you like to live on a place where the, where the only bars are on the fence gates? You kidding? There ain't no such place. I've got one. A ranch. Raise horses, mostly. Horses? Mm-hmm. You like horses? Who doesn't? Well, now, maybe I could use a sort of a handy boy to help round up the horses and the milk cows, feed the chickens, things like that. And after a while, maybe you'd have your own cow pony and saddle go out with us after the wild Mustangs. Would you like that? Gee, are you on the level, mister? Well, Joey, let's start out with the idea that what you and I say to each other is always on the level. Wouldn't you like that, too? Yeah, I like that fine. Good. As a matter of fact, so would I. Now, that's the way it's got to be if we're going to get along. Now, let's talk to the judge. I'll show you who's top hand around here. I hope you know what you're doing, Bart. You know what the boss said about leaving this horse alone? I'll break him if it's the last thing I ever do. <laughs> All right, turn him loose. never settle down. Well, that's exactly what'll happen to him if you manhandle him. The only way to make a real horse out of that stallion is to treat him with kindness, make friends with him. So you keep your ropes off it and leave him to me. Well, whatever you say, boss, I was only trying to earn my pay. Okay, no harm done this time. Hey, don't 
Don't. Don't get up there. Gee, I didn't mean no harm, Mr. Jim. Well, I was only thinking about you, Joey. That's a savage animal out there. He's as mean and tricky as a lion or tiger, and almost as dangerous. Gosh, he sure don't look it. He needs something. Can I talk to him? Sure, all you like. But don't, don't go near him. Pete, this is my friend Joey. He's going to spend some time with us. Howdy, young fella. You better get him over to the bathhouse. Uh, it's about chow time, isn't it? Yeah. What's cooking? Steak, potatoes, green beans, and I think I've seen Cook making pumpkin pies. Does that sound good to you, Joey? Sure does. Except for the bathhouse business. <laughs> Come on, Joey. Get yourself rinsed and wrung out. <laughs> Get the doctor. Hurry up. How did it happen? I saw the fool kid going in there, so I went in with my whip just in time to keep that stallion from killing him. Ooh, why would he do a thing like that? Maybe he was trying to make a friend out of the horse. How bad is it, Tom? Fortunately, there's no open wound. Stubborn little guy. Warned him the horse was dangerous. He could have been killed. Well, he'll have to stay in bed for a few days. It's too bad there are no women folks around. You'll need care. How about that young woman who took over the old Cranford place? You mean the new school teacher, Miss Watkins? Yeah. She looks like a right friendly young lady. Maybe she'll lend us a hand. We hardly know her, Pete. Well, this is one chance to get acquainted. I'll write over and ask her. Good. Now, just keep him warm, and I'll drop by a little later in the day. Oh, don't bother to see me out, Jim. I know my way. Thanks, Tom. Bye. I wonder if I made a mistake, Pete. Bit off more than I can chew. Yeah, he's got a wild streak in him. Just like that stallion. He's not a bad boy. Just a little mixed up and kind of lost. 
If you ask me, they both need their ears pinned back. Well, young fella, you nearly got yourself killed. I warned you to stay away from that horse. He didn't mean to do it. It was that other fella he was after. You mean Bart? That's the one. He was gonna beat him, and I tried to stop him. Joey, I thought we agreed to level with each other. Sure, Mr. Jim. I'm leveling with you. Maybe it was that cloud on the head that got your memory a little foggy. You were in the corral when Bart first saw you. No, sir. Honest, I wasn't. I was outside the fence, just talking to the horse. Joey, trying to put the blame on somebody else is worse than snitching. Now, what really happened is that Bart came into the corral with a whip just in time to keep the horse from killing you. And what's more, your disobedience cost me the best stallion I ever had. Now, you think it over. When you're ready to tell the truth, I'll listen to you. Joey, what we say to each other is always on the level. On the level. On the level. On the level. Hello, Miss Watkins. Hello. Mighty nice of you to come over and help us like this. What else are neighbors for? How is he? Oh, much better. I'm fixing him a little soup. Think you'll eat it? Oh, I hope so. He should have some nourishment. Still balky, huh? Well, I'm afraid he's not very well adjusted. Yeah, he's contrary, all right. It's probably why he went into the corral, because I told him not to. Well, I don't suppose anyone's paid much attention to him since his mother died. Neglect does things to children. Like horses, they need love and affection to bring out the best in them. You seem to know a lot about children. Well, I should. I've raised four of them. You what? Oh, my brothers and sisters. My father was left alone with the five of us. Oh. Are you sure you were right about what happened at the corral? Of course I'm sure. Why? Oh, you can usually tell when a boy is really hurt inside and not just pretending. Maybe. Maybe with kids like your younger brothers, but not with Joey. Joey's different. Joey was knocking around the city streets by the time he was old enough to walk. Kids like that learn how to, to cover up mighty early. Oh, I wouldn't be too sure it's the same with Joey. It looks to me like a case of a broken heart. His idol suddenly turned up with clay feet. You mean just because I didn't believe him? That would be enough, wouldn't it? Maybe I better have a little talk with him. Mr. Jim, I told you the truth and you wouldn't believe me, so I better go back where I belong, Joey. I guess you were right. Maybe I've got a lot to learn about kids. After Chow, we'll cut out the big gray and the buckskin pony and brand him. Bart won't be here for Chow. Here's your month's pay. Now saddle up your horse and get moving. You're fired. For what? To keep me from going to jail for manslaughter. Read this. Looks to me like I got my liars mixed up. Now go on. like trying to get up. Gosh, that's a bad cut. Now you stay right here. I'm going to get help. <laughs> Mr. Jim! Mr. Jim! I'm looking all over. 
for you, Joey. Are you all right? Sure, Fury ain't. He's hurt bad. Way over there. Come on, show us the way. Well, what do you know? Yeah, you know me, don't you? You'd kind of like to trample me down and sink those teeth in me, wouldn't you? Well, here's something you don't know. I'm the doctor who's going to heal those wounds. And then you're suffering once and for all. Okay, if we can get him to the doctor's trailer. I'll go for him. You sure he'll be all right, Mr. Jim? I, I think he will, with you taking care of him, Joey. You mean you trust me to look out for him? I think I trust you with everything I have. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Gee, you hear that, Fury? Me and you are going to stick together every minute till you're all well. What's the verdict, Doc? With proper care, he'll be as good as new. Not even a scar. But he'll need constant watching for at least a week to keep him off his feet. Don't worry about that, Doc. I'll take care of him. Every minute, day and night. Well, Fury couldn't be any better hands than that, Jim. That's right, Doc. Horses know who their friends are. You can't fool them. All right, Joey. I'll bring in your mattress and bedding. Now, I'll see that you don't go hungry. And I'll dig out my old guitar and sing you both to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Hear that, Fury? I'm gonna take good care of you. 